In this module, we now turn our attention to the ways in which we interact with the broader environment, specifically looking at the goodness of fit between people and the places and things within their environment. Person-environment fit is fundamentally a straightforward idea. It refers to the extent to which the environment, the things within it, support our needs. So while simple, fairly straightforward, this is also an extremely broad definition, and so it's not particularly useful. A more useful or clearer approach to person-environment fit is the extent to which the places and things within our environment facilitate our capacity to make and carry out plans. That is, to what extent does the environment support us doing what we want to do? And within this module, we'll be discussing two key applied areas for this sort of uh, approach. Those are designing cities, buildings, and public spaces for better fit between people and those spaces, and also the design of objects or equipment, machines and artefacts, the things that we use. So while there are indeed a great many tools and approaches that we can use to improve the fit between humans and their environment and the things that they interact with, our guiding approach here is going to be identifying key principles, so some fundamental approaches. So of these, you've already met two which we'll be exploring in a little bit more detail in this module. The first of these is legibility. Legibility, of course, is critical because it promotes the ease with which we can understand and grasp and interact with the environment around us. It also promotes our understanding of or our, our working model of the objects and things with which we interact. The second key approach that we're going to be uh, focusing on is biophilia. That is the inclusion of natural elements within our built environments or natural features within the objects and equipment and, and things that we interact with. Overall then, in this module we're going to address three key questions. Firstly, what are the basic principles in designing for person environment fit? Within this, we'll also be considering why these basic principles may have been neglected. The next two questions are kind of related, addressing the two key applied areas of this topic. So firstly, what are the factors of goodness of fit in design of spaces and places? And secondly, what are the factors of goodness of fit in the design of objects or things? So as you go through this module, some guiding uh, topics to consider or things to think about for yourself are how you might go about better designing your own spaces, your own places, the things that you uh, interact with yourself. How can you personally modify your environment to better fit your needs? Secondly, you can also think about how the design of environments that you interact with influence you. So what are the unconscious ways that the environments that you engage with on a regular basis influence your behavior and your well-being? 